Good afternoon, SHS, and welcome back. I am Mia Garcia. My name is Blake Cater. And I'm Ella True. And will everyone please join us for a moment of silence. And now Blake will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Unfortunately, guys, we are back to hot and humid temperatures through Thursday with isolated tropical showers Friday through next Monday. And your Sinton Lady Pirate Volleyball team will be playing Port Lavaca today at 4.30. So everybody take this time to go out and support your Lady Pirates. And you all have time to go support them because all three football teams have, bi have a bye week. Yep, varsity is not playing tonight. So go make the trip out to Port Lavaca to go support. But football does play next week um, against West Oso on Friday at 7.30 for Senior Night. Parent night? Parent night. Same thing, I think. No, it's not the same thing. Parent night. And we'll take this opportunity to catch up with myself, who had an interview with Dara Martinez. Howdy, everybody. This is Blake Cater, honored to be here with Cincinnati High School's very own cross-country runner, Zara Martinez. Hi. Today, we just wanted to ask her a few questions about how this year's cross-country season is going to go. Zara, how's the season going so far? So far, it's going pretty well. All the girls are progressing, and we're all doing really good. The boys' team is doing real good, too. What are some goals that y'all may have for this season? Um, some goals that we have are making to the state, obviously, as a team this year. And, yeah. Well, best of luck to y'all. I know y'all compete at A&M Corpus Christi this weekend. It'll be on Saturday, correct? Yes. Best of luck to all of our cross-country runners, and we know that y'all will bring home some really nice medals. This is your daily reminder to get to class on time. Um, it's important that we don't get any tardies because it could lead to detention or ISS. And on another completely different note, homecoming is coming up soon, October 8th. I will not be plugging anyone right now because they're all my friends. Vote for whoever you want to vote for. A Google form has been sent to, what, everyone, okay. By grade level. Yes, by grade le level, email. Um, all students need to check the email because that's where it was sent to and vote during Anchor. Voting closes 3 p.m. today, so make sure that you get your votes in. And if you are a junior or senior interested in taking the ASVAB, the fall test date is September. 22nd on campus in the cafeteria probably um, sign up on your counselors Google classroom So that's your grade level Google classroom And for those of you who have signed up to take a different test the TSI test miss Ivy will email you the date and time You will be testing it is important that you check your emails every day For those of you that do not know how to sign up to TSI tests You can email miss Ivy directly and she can add you to the list We do have TSI tutoring available as well Please see Ms. Garza or Coach Allen if you have questions about tutoring. And FCA will be hosting See You at the Pole next Wednesday morning, so that is September 22nd, at 7.30 a.m. We will meet at the flagpole in front of the school and join in prayer together over all of our schools in our districts. Meetings will continue at the usual time each week on Friday mornings at 7.30 in Coach Lottick's room. Also, there will be an FFA meeting held on Monday, September 20th at 6.30 p.m. in the Stinson High School cafeteria. But also, just your daily reminder that COVID-19 is still around, so if you don't feel well while you're at home, don't come to school. If you don't feel well while you're at school, you can visit Nurse Elise who can administer a COVID-19 test. But it is important to note that she only tests symptomatic students, and students that their parents have completed the online consent form found on SintonISD.net. And as always, we will end things off with the thought of the day. <clears throat> the point is not to pay back kindness, but to pass it on. From Julia Alvarez. 
and a little bit about her. Um, she is a Dominican American new formalist poet, novelist, and essayist. She rose to prominence with the novels How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents, In the Time of the Butterflies, and Yo. Um, Blake. This one's an easy one. Surely you can elaborate. Okay, everybody's seen that trend on TikTok. That's like at Starbucks, if you pay for the person behind you, and then everybody keeps on doing that. That's because the point of kindness isn't to make yourself feel better, but to make the other people around you feel better. Pay it forward. Yes. Great. As always, thanks everyone for watching. Um, good luck to our Lady Pirates tonight. Um, Go everyone pirates. have a fabulous Friday. Go Pirates! Go Pirates!